It was opening arguments in the trial of Klaus von Bülow, charged with twice trying to kill his wealthy wife by injecting her with insulin. It was also the day von Bülow's stepson, Alexander von Ausberg, took the stand. He's the one who went to police with what he felt was evidence his stepfather was trying to kill his mother. Prosecutor Stephen Falmaghetti opened with the state's position that von Bülow will be found guilty of trying to do away with his wife for 15 years at their Newport mansion in December 1980. Sonny Fambulo has been in a coma in a New York hospital ever since. The state will prove was a clandestine, subtle, and ingenious intent, attempt on the part of her husband, Klaus Von Bülow, to terminate her life, to murder her, by secretly injecting her with a drug called insulin. Defense attorney Harold Price Farringer said although the marriage originally was a good one, Sonny Fambulo had developed a drinking problem. He also pointed to her taking 20 aspirin and 24 laxatives a day and ignoring her low blood sugar problem. It was she, the defense claims, and not Klaus who brought about the coma. A premarital agreement that provided that Klaus von Bülow forfeited, relinquished any part of her estate. If she were to die, he got nothing. As day one of testimony ends, two pictures are painted of von Bülow. By the defense, a devoted husband who had become unhappy because his wife wanted him to spend more time with her than with his work. Of the prosecution, a man in love with another woman who wanted his wife's millions and tried to kill her. In Newport, Glenn Laxton for Cable News Network.